Hello everyone, and welcome to a video that I'm pretty sure won't get me addicted to crack. Anyways, welcome to Wacky Wizards, and Wacky Wizards updated uh, like a few days ago, and uh, Wacky Wizards' new update is here, and this is new. First off, pumpkin ingredient, very well deserved. Two cauldron skins, uh, two NPCs, skeleton, which is voice pumpkin by Yaboy Russo. And a, zo a zombie voiced by Ya Funny Boy Sketch. It's actually pretty cool. A title, the Headless Horseman. You have a Jack o' Lantern as this cauldron. And the Skull Cauldron. But the biggest addition is the new ingredient, the pumpkin ingredient. But that's not all. Because. We're introducing a brand new currency type, candy corns. Wanna know how to get the candy corns? Go to the Headless Horseman, and he says, Hey there, how can I help you? You can ask, how do I collect candy? There are free ways, but there will be... But the Headless Horseman is giving you the hint that there will be more ways to get candy corns for each week, which potentially means that this... Potentially means that Wacky Wizards Halloween update will potentially span for the entirety of October. And each week we'll have a brand new way to get candy corns, which means new grindable ways, which means it will make the grind less painful. However, I've been seeing on YouTube of people having like 9,000 candy corns. And we're only a few days into the event already. Like how? This is the same thing with Banana Eats. Banana Eats, people are already getting the... All the brand new skins and all the new beacons and banana eats this Halloween update. And like that, we're only a few days into the event. It makes no sense. With Piggy, it was understandable because Piggy's Halloween event is now at least is now turning at least one week old. But geez. Anyways, which would you like to know about? The first method of getting candy corns has to be the most easiest, but definitely a kind of a bit tedious. Hidden candy corns. What this refers to are candy corns that are hidden around the map. You can... A couple of the candy corns are in the open, but some require you to go to other areas, like the Oasis. Two are located near the waterfalls next to the Rave Club. One is located inside the, uh, inside the ancient man, that ancient stone statue place with, with the bush you have to burn down with the fire. One's located in the spider cave, one is inside the one's inside the guessing area. Anyways, those are the hidden candies, but another way to get candies is trick-or-treating. Each day you can scare different characters around the map using potions. Just check what each person is scared of on the board behind me. Stand near them and drink a potion that might scare them to earn candy from them. What this refers to is this list right here, the scare board. Each day, on each day, five, five of the N, five individual NPC or NPC groups can be scared by a, by an ingredient of a potion they, by a potion of an ingredient they hate. For example, Dumpster Diver Dan will be scared by zombies and aliens. Goblins will be, spared, will be scared by noodles, burning, and zombies. Developers will be scared of warts, scared of the warts fire. Oz will be scared of spiders and warts. Witches will be scared by discos and warts. Now, those are the ones I see commonly, but there is the rare chance that... There is the rare chance like this where Oz and the witches will be scared by the same ingredient. The last method of getting candy corns is probably the most tedious because of how ridiculous it is. Anyways. You gotta walk with me all the way here. See there's a candy corn. This is the most tedious method, the potion trader. Now, every 30 minutes, a potion trader will arrive. The potion trader will arrive into this land, and every 30 minutes, the potion trader will ask for free potions you can give him. Doing, 
Giving him a potion will net you 10 candies. Oh yeah. Let me explain the candy. The candy corns. The hidden candies will offer you 1 to 5 candy corns. The potion trader will always net you 10 candies. Which makes it 30 candies for all free potions. But the potion he asks for are all random. And he'll sometimes even ask for premium potions. If you have premium ingredients unlocked already. But I think the best method is the scare board. Because the amount of times I've scared the NPCs. The NPCs you scare will give you 50 candy corns. However, on the rare occasion, you may even get a hundred candy corns, which is insane. That's my, that's from what I did, because as I scared the NPCs, I realized I got around 50 to a hundred candy corns. There isn't any in-betweens, but I found out that you can also net 60 candy corns from scaring NPCs. So, I feel like the scare board is the most effective method, but it's not the most viable because of the fact that you have to wait for an entire day for the board to reset. And even then, you still have to walk miles to get to these locations. If you have Flybucks, it makes it more manageable, but Flybucks has been downgraded in one of the game's more recent updates. Where Flybucks doesn't let you fly after you first drink it, because every subsequent drink, you can't use the up or down feature. That sucks. That's what Flybox was for. For flying around the map so that we can make the game at least a bit easier on ourselves and get to quest faster. There are alternative methods like the bee disguise, but god if I would ever gonna go use that. You also have the horse hooves, but no, the dust don't. Anyways, pumpkin ingredient. No. There he is. Ask, what rewards can I get? You can see all the rewards. There is. Here's the thing. What rewards can I get? You can see all the rewards up here on the stage. Just click on them to see their price and more info. They will only be obtainable during the Halloween event. Is there anything else I can help you with? Now, there is actually a third option. A third option to ask, when does the Halloween event end? Now, unfortunately, because I'm mobile, it doesn't show it. But can someone please, can someone please put the, someone please take this, uh, the, that third option's description in its entirety and put it in a, and put it in a comment when I release this video, please, because I need to know what that text refers to. I need to know that third answer because not, all the YouTubers don't show it, and I really want to know. I'm just so curious. I'm pretty sure everybody else has read that third option, but the YouTubers just don't show it. Maybe I'll go find a YouTube video where someone does show it, but God, if I will ever do that. Anyways, we check the potion book, and scroll all the way over here. Anyways, to number 232. 233 to potion 247. So we have an. So there's 6, 12, and 15. We have 15 brand new potions to obtain, which is pretty cool. However, I'm get, I'm gonna have the feeling that more potions, more potions are gonna be added as this event goes on, and I do have. The, I do want to have the courtesy of owning all of these objects because all because all of these items are so expensive including this the headless horseman player title which is a thousand candy which gain that much isn't as easy as you think it is or you can know you can just do server hopping as anyone else would do but I do not server hop. I stay in one server and do the best I can when grinding. But yeah, for my final notes, I think Wacky Wizards is a good did a good Halloween update. Considering this is the first Halloween update that Wacky Wizards got. I wonder how Wacky Wizards will do for Christmas. Maybe in Christmas we have to collect peppermints or candy canes. Maybe Wacky Wizards can even celebrate Thanksgiving, which will be pretty interesting since not many people celebrate Thanksgiving. In fact, I don't ever see any game celebrating Thanksgiving. 
So I at least want to see a Thanksgiving event from, you know, Wacky Wizards to at least celebrate that holiday because I feel like Thanksgiving gets overshadowed by Jolly Old Saint Nick and Mr. All Hallows Eve. I will be decorating my room and when I show my decorated room, I'll probably have some stuff that will probably net your eyes a bit. But either way, this is the Wacky Wizards Halloween event. I enjoyed this event. I think it's really good. Don't worry. As this event will go on, I'll probably make separate videos that will be less shorter than this one. Because this this video will be long. Because of the fact that it is part one. This the first half of this Wacky Wizards Halloween update already adds so much content to begin with. It's ridiculous. Oh yeah, brand new premium potions have been added, but uh, we don't care about that. Premium potions are only for the people that want to chuck their entire mom's credit card into Robux. You know, to feed their own narcissism. Oh yeah, let's take a look at the shop. First off, the Disco Ball. The Disco Ball, a brand new cauldron skin, and also the superhero ingredient. With superhero ingredient and Disco Ball, I know that the Disco Ball and superhero ingredient were introduced in the last update, but I would want to mention that because I didn't bother making a video on the Disco update. So yeah. Also, Alien Parasites, I didn't do many Wacky Wizards videos during the downtime of the last one, but I just want to mention, I do have the Frozen Egg and I did buy that bundle. Yeah. So, I think that's about as much as I would- Oh yeah! Pink Witch and the Pink Winch has been added. But it's a winch and we don't care. Anyways, I hope- I hope Jandal kind of like shows some leaks. Hell, maybe Jandal will just post a teaser. And we can all then get excited as we're filling our pumpkins with candles. But this is the Halloween update for Wacky Wizards. I tried to do one before, but my phone just refused. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you folks next time. Have, have a fun time playing the Wacky Wizards Halloween event. As this event will probably go on, I'll probably buy all these items. I'll just need to do a lot of grinding. I have 1,652 candy corns, but I will definitely need a lot more to fuel my to fuel my candy addiction because I'm on candy that's not approved by the FDA. So it makes me the most powerful creature of the night. That it's more powerful than man or monster of Halloween that can ever imagine. So yes. I'll be grinding my fuel addiction with candy cords that are not approved by the FDA in order to get my pumpkins so that I can feed my own narcissism and feed my death tonight.